then you probably <laughs> not like. Welcome back to A's Little Shed Shop. Today, I have gone and bought myself a new bike stand. This big hunk of chunker. Now, I did it because the one that you've seen before, my black one with the red bits on it, is old. Uh, I was actually given that one. It's just a little bit mm, cranky these days. So it's time for that one to go. And it's not as easy to clamp. And uh, it, it likes to tilt because it's all smooth. There's no knurling on it to keep things in place. So therefore, it's time for a new one. Now, what you would be so hard to believe, but I tell you this, I even have the receipt. I bought this for a tenner. I kid you not. A tenner. Yes, it was the middle of little, but it was on their knockdown price. They had absolutely shed loads of them, maybe 20 or 30 of them. A tenner. Ruddy tenner. I don't think you can get a better bike stand for a tenner or even close to a tenner. The captain here is being held up. He's my full carbon, but he's quite heavy. Now he's being held up by a stand that I made. This. And I've enjoyed making them. I have a couple now. This one's out of MDF and I have another one that is out of OSB which is a slight bit stronger and my next one that I make is going to be out of 18 mil ply that one I will show you in a video soon so they're really good they hold the bike upright when on the flat which is absolutely fine they're also good for storing but to work on the bikes they're only good to a certain point and obviously you need to lift your bike up a lot of times to be able to work on things so we were in Lidl and it was just there and it was a tenner and I said to Mrs S Joe what for a tenner I need a new one and I'm never going to find another one for a tenner. I probably couldn't even build one for a tenner. And she said, okay, this is incredible. For a tenner, this comes with a three year warranty. One, two, three, three years. Holy cow, right? It is all steel. It is not light, but it's much better than the old one. It is still pretty much exactly the same in the way it works. There's a little knob here. Ooh, don't undo it all the bloody way, idiot. And that means the jaw can come forwards and backwards. But it does have a red line on it, so you have a maximum line to go to. But what this also has is it has knurling on the actual arm. When you tighten this up, it actually holds it in place and doesn't turn, which is really handy when you have a bike like the Captain, who weighs 10 kilos. This also has quick release clamps to open for the legs with this you can open it just a little way and it will be quite sturdy or you can open this the full length quick release clamp it and just try not to fall over the legs when you've got a bike on there now it does also have a quick release here and that is for this upper arm which at its full extent there's a red line is well above my head even my son standing over six foot would be hard pushed putting a bike on this and working on it perfectly unless of course he needs the cranks at head height obviously i don't work on bikes that ruddy high these are nice and easy to adjust it's just a little turn it does also have a really nice little tool tray with a magnet in it and it comes with the allen key for all your adjustment needs if you need to and for also putting on the tool tray it's also nice and handy because well allen key Never really have enough Allen keys, right? I've broken a few. I'm sure you have too. And what this also comes with is a nice big quick release lever for the bike clamp. And you just turn your quick release like any normal quick release to open and close it. And that's it. It makes it so much easier. And this can go up to a two inch frame. Do need to change your angle on this. Point it down so you can get to the rear wheel nicely. This arm is now nice and knurled, so it actually grabs, unlike the older styles, where it's all smooth and it flops around. This does have this very nice extra arm, which comes in handy for holding your handlebars in place, and that holds them absolutely secure, which keeps you from bopping yourself with your handlebars. So everything's now free to get to. Yes, I realise I probably put this on the wrong way around, but it's okay, this is only for demonstration. <laughs> You can, of course, turn this if you need to, like so. Now, apparently, this clamp can hold this clamp, this bike 
stand can hold bikes up to 30 kilos. There isn't many bikes out there that are 30 kilos as far as I'm aware, apart from maybe electric bikes, which is probably why they put the knurling on this arm. But it's also so you can, so you can clamp it on your seat post, which always worries me because, well, that's a carbon fiber seat post. So I don't like to clamp it there, but you can also clamp it around a down tube if you need to, being carbon fiber much happier doing that like i said this is not a light bike this is yeah this is over 10 kilos you do sometimes have to put bikes into odd positions so you can work on them in those odd positions i don't know if this will hold i've never done this before well not on this one on my old park tool it would hold a bike like this no problem so this is proof that you can definitely get any normal bike on here and keep it at an angle without it bending and moving that's a win for a tenner so in conclusion for a tenner bargain if you can get your hands on one of these for a tenner your quid's in it literally only comes in four parts and the tool tray that's it now the instructions do tell you to actually put this handlebar holding part or you can wrap it around your forks as well on this tube so for a tenner brilliant if you can get your hands on one the new version of this is actually out at the moment um came out I think a week after I bought this and it's $24.99 at $24.99 I don't even think you can go on Amazon and get one for 25 quid and it'd be anywhere near as good as this to be perfectly honest there is loads of different ones out there it depends on whether you need one that's going to be holding a lot of weight fixed in place easy to use or you just like big names obviously the best out there in my opinion is park tool I used to have a park tool one uh, in my job when I used to work on bikes and that thing was amazing but that had a massive plate on the bottom of it the actual up tube was about four or five inches bloody round it was a monster and it was fixed in place so it could hold whatever I needed it to but I also worked in a place where I had park tools um, on hand permanently now if you're at home you, you want to build, uh, you know, fix your bike yourself or work on bikes yourself this is perfect if you're you know an enthusiast this is still perfect and even if you are a pro this folds up to quite a small form of that big and it will even go smaller because you can quite literally take that out and put those somewhere else then you could probably hang that on two hooks and stick these on a shelf job done three-year warranty three-year warranty anything goes wrong with this keep the receipt take it back to Lidl's well I don't think they could turn around and say otherwise because it's Crivet and I'm pretty sure that is a Lidl's own make brilliant piece of kit for a tenner brilliant piece of kit for 24.99 25 quid and the new one you can tell the new one it has gray parts instead of blue I don't know what else is different there must be something maybe it's just down to oh we're on our next year let's try a different color see if it sells more could be you never know other than that thank you for watching like subscribe Click for notifications and we'll see you again soon.